So it's getting really late outside, guys. Um, it's getting real late outside, so I gotta stop right here right now, unfortunately. But today we made a lot of freaking progress. I, I got out of work at 12, I came straight home, put on my brother's spoiler on his 340, and now I just hop straight on my car and I'm almost finished. So look, this is what we did today. Intake, S3 injectors. Um, I took this pipe back on because I had problems with the intake manifold kind of fitting. So I gotta, I gotta kind of adjust that when I get some time right on that corner. But look, the the verter relocation kit is right here. Um, I have it running from the back, coming over. Everything on this side is already buttoned down. Intake manifold is is on now. Um, just a lot. Just honestly, all we have left. Um, down below is just, uh, I'm gonna show you guys right now. I just got a few, um, boost pipes to connect and that's about it. And that's all I have left. So to be honest, I feel like we've been making a lot of progress and I'm so freaking excited to show you guys this build. I did my freaking self. So, um, that's it for today, I guess guys, um, I will be recording anytime I get some more free time and I have more content coming for you guys. Peace. Catch you on the next one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, Today we have the GTI. And what I just finished doing on the car is not too long ago. I just finished not too long ago, like, buttoning up all the coolant lines or whatsoever. All the little tiny beanie stuff that I had to do from a long time. I got it done. Um, earlier and now all I have to do is just pour coolant in the car so I'm gonna lay you guys down after I show you guys um, what I've been up to lately so fast forward let's jump straight into it okay so this is every thing that we finished putting back together from earlier we got the catch can um, we put the PCV holes from the oil separator down below um, we put the Diverter relocation kit on. Um, the battery's not in yet. The intake is not on yet because I have to take out this little cam adjuster. And because it's broken, so I had to get a new one or a used one and put it in there. But so far, even underneath, if you guys could take a nice little look, the pump is connected so now i might just have to connect this last coolant hose right here and i'm gonna do that right now and then we're gonna pour coolant into the car and we should be good to go Not one bit at all. If anything, I could just cut off a, a little bit of piece of it, but it's not too worried. Um, now, we're going to double check everything. Double check all the coolant lines, everything. We're just going to do a double check before we even pour the coolant in. But, okay. Double check. We still need a clamp for right here. Let's not forget about that. But that's not a coolant um, hose, so let's not worry about that right now. But we need a clamp if we're going to start the car for that portion right there. Um, we don't have any more on here. Um, the lower portion, let me double check. This is tight. We have a clamp on here. We are all set. This is a turbo. Okay. We still, we still need a hose for right here too. Um, this is the outlet for the turbo going into the inner cooler right here. Um, unfortunately, the stock one won't work because it's a K04 and you have the muffler delete right here. So the stock one won't work. So therefore you have to come up with a second alternative to um, get a hose or intake hose or an inner cooler hose and just get the adapter then you could um attach it to the stock the stock outlet pipe so that's something i do have to pick up so i'm a i think i had that on the way coming from ebay as we speaking right now so
what's up guys welcome back to another video today what we have going on is we have coolant and we have oil um and we have the inner cooler hoses um so all we have to do is just add coolant add oil buckle up the inner cooler hoses on the bottom and we might be good for a startup start up put the battery and put the wheels in i might not even put the wheels on right now i want to just get the, get a, a good startup and just see if the car run like it's supposed to so and see if it's throwing any codes or whatsoever so we could go ahead and um and go over to the inner cooler hoses and i'm gonna show you guys what i've been up to so um i just cut the hoses not too long ago i cut them down a little bit so i'll be able to fit this one on the the, the passenger side where it's supposed to be so i'm gonna finish go ahead and tighten up the clamps and buckle a few other things and we should be good to go so let's make that happen right now Okay, quick little update guys. I just just now buckled up one of the lower coolant hoses in the outlet hose coming from the turbo on the passenger side. So now I gotta jump over to the driver's side and I gotta mount this piece right here. I gotta just tighten it up, I believe. I believe it's fully not on. So I just have to just clamp it down. Let me see. No, I'm lying. That's on. Here's the other side right here. This is a piece that I just connected and the other hose is up top coming down. I'm missing one of these screws right here. I don't know where it's at at all. I can't find it. So I have to see if I can find something to hold for now at least. But I'm just going to start it up and might just take it for a little spin if I end up getting the wheels on. But I just want to see where the car is at for right now. So I'm going to just take my time. After this, we should be able to tap the oil off for just a, just a tiny bit. Just tap it off just a tiny bit. And then we should be able to fire the car right up. All connected up. off a little bit we got the right amount so as of right now guys we got the battery in 
We got cooling in. I'm gonna tap the cooling off some more when I start it. I'm gonna pop it open, add some more cooling. I should leave the cap off for now, just a little bit. Pop a cap off just for now. Just have it sit right up there. But here's the beauty, guys. Everything is pretty much connected. Everything is really pretty much connected. I don't know what the hell is leaking like that. I know I connected everything. We we haven't coolant leaking, but I can't figure out from where. No, I tightened everything for a, a hundred percent. Um. So I already checked everything, guys, and that leak is coming right from the thermostat, somewhere on the thermostat. Maybe the sensor, the O-ring, or something fell out. Um, so I'm gonna have to double check that and really see what's going on. Tomorrow's gonna be warm, so tomorrow I'm gonna double check it for sure. So look, guys, let me know if you guys are ready. She is slowly coming. The battery is just super, super dead. That's all. See if we can double boost her here real quick. Honestly, the first, first startup. Ever since I put it back together, carbon idents for like 10 minutes. Even the temperature is up to um, the middle already. No engine check light so far. I've just been letting it idle nonstop. But you guys see it, man. I'm so freaking excited. The first, first startup. Will she actually start? And yes, she freaking did. That's how you know you, you get the job done the correct way. Cause you actually started on the first startup and it actually start. See, we having a leak somewhere right there, so we have to take care of that leak right there. I'm not sure where it's coming from. I'm double checking everything. I don't see, I don't see where the leak is coming from at all. But I know it's a very, very bad leak. If you guys can tell right now, I'm so freaking, freaking, freaking excited. The car finally started up. First start. It cranked for a little bit because I actually unplugged the the the, the, the fuel pump because I wanted to make sure oil pressure and everything build up before I even started the car so I don't kill the turbo by accident. So I started it, let, let it run for 15 minutes. Please guys, whenever you do a turbo replacement, please when you start the car, please do not rev the car to a high RPM. Just get in started, let it idle for like 10, 15 minutes so you're not killing your turbo. Cause if you just jump in the car and fire it right up, the turbo is not gonna have the right oil pressure. Um, and the oil pressure takes some time to build up. So you gotta let it idle for like 15, 15, 15, 10 minutes and you should be good. Um, so that's what I did and the car just been idling, just been watching the coolant level because I know I got two leaks, one underneath the intake manifold and one on, next to the, the cooling plant so we're gonna take care of those um 
those leaks really, really soon. And see, the white smoke is actually going away a little bit. That's normal because it's cold out. A little bit of white smoke is going to be normal. Because they're from China, you know. Not everything you're supposed to get from eBay and put it on your car. eBay parts is no good, but I like these hoses a lot, and that's why I got them. And I forgot to tell you guys, it's hailing right now. I just... Thank God I finished everything I had to do because it's really healing outside right now. Like, if you guys look, it's really, it's really ice falling outside. Like, you, you see it. It's really ice. It's, it's ice falling. I'm pretty sure you can hear it hitting the car. It's really ice, but that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to catch you soon, and I'm going to fix the cooler at least, and we're going to take this car on a crazy-ass drive and enjoy it. Like, we're going to take it out spring, and we have lots more videos coming. Peace, happy new years, enjoy, and just keep giving thanks. Peace. <laughs>